Can you use two monitors with Google Meet? Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio, as usual, working from home here along with my coworkers during the pandemic, setting out to answer this question about Google Meet because working with two screens is very useful if you are teaching or attending an online class and you would like to see shared slides on one screen but still be able to see the entire class in grid view on your other screen. This is a feature that is readily available in Zoom, and if you Google something like Zoom dual monitors or Zoom two screens, you will get the official Zoom help page about this, and hey, there's one of my videos. But if you try searching for Google Meet dual monitors or Google Meet two screens, you get a bunch of weird third-party websites and videos that show using multiple computers and confused Reddit posts with people asking whether this is possible. So it is not immediately clear if Google Meet actually has a dual monitor setting, and I also can't find one when digging around in the settings, which you can do in Zoom. So in the rest of this video, I'm gonna set out to find out if you can actually do this. So let's quickly review how screen sharing works in Google Meet. I do have a separate video that goes into this in more detail, but this will demonstrate why you might wanna use two screens, especially if you're the one presenting. So I have another browser tab open here with my presentation in Google Slides. If I want to share that to the other people in the meeting, I go down here to present now, select a tab, and I'm going to select my Google Slides tab and click share. Now that is going to bring me back over to this tab and you get this little notification at the top of Chrome that you are sharing. And from here, I can't see everybody else in the meeting, but I can control my slides. So for example, if I had multiple slides here and I was in presentation mode, I can use my controls to switch between them, but I can't see everybody else in the meeting and if I go back to my Google Meet tab, I can see everybody else here and I can see the slide that I am currently on, but I cannot advance my slides from this tab. If I wanna do that, I have to go back over to this tab and then I can't see everyone. So ideally, you would have two separate monitors like you can in Zoom, one of which would have your slides on it where you can still control them. And on the other monitor, you would still be able to see everybody. So let's see if we can set that up with Google Meet. So I have stopped sharing for now, and I am now recording my screen on two adjacent monitors. And ideally, I would like to have my presentation over here on the currently blank monitor and see everybody else in grid view in Google Meet over here on the first monitor. And again, there is no setting for me to select a dual monitor setting in Google Meet like there is in Zoom. So it's not immediately apparent how to do that. The first thing I'm gonna try is simply dragging this tab over to the other monitor to split it into a separate window. Once I've done that, I'm going to back over here and select share again, click a tab, and hope that, yep, it can identify this tab even though it's in a separate window. Select share, and it takes a second to load. It is now sharing my screen to this window. So this sort of worked. I have this screen over here, and I can go back into slideshow mode, but I'm losing a lot of screen real estate over here on the left to a duplicate version of my shared screen, which is maybe okay for students taking the class who are on a single monitor. They would wanna see this class large, but if I'm teaching and I already have my slides over here, I kind of just wanna see my students here. I don't also want a double large version of my own screen. So at first I might think, okay, maybe that button will let me get rid of it, but this removes my presentation from the call and it looks like that's gonna remove it for everybody. So that's kind of a way to fill out an abuse report if somebody's sharing inappropriate content or something. And it's a little weird that it would let me do that to myself since I'm the one sharing, but apparently it will. So that's not the best option because that's gonna get rid of it for everybody. I can unpin this presentation from the main screen and that is at least going to shrink it. So you're still going to lose one of your grid squares or tiles or whatever they call these to it, but if you have a big class, say with 30 students, that's gonna be pretty tiny. So there is a way, again, this is not ideal. It doesn't look like there's a way for me to totally get rid of this. I can mute it, maybe. That's just gonna mute the audio. That is not muting the video. It doesn't look like I can get rid of this completely, but you can make it smaller and then focus on your big slides over here on this monitor. So again, not perfect, a bit of a hack, but it does seem to work. Next, I'm just gonna quickly try it with some other programs like PowerPoint and see if that works as well. So let's see if that works with PowerPoint. I have stopped sharing my Google Slides tab and close that. I'm gonna go here, share, and say I want to share just a window, and I'm gonna select my PowerPoint presentation, click share, and now I get this little control to stop sharing if I want to go into presentation mode in the PowerPoint, and it looks like I'm gonna get the same effect. It gives you this little annoying 
note about avoiding an inf infinity mirror and not sharing your entire screen or browser window, which is not what I'm doing. I just selected the PowerPoint window. So ignore that. And same deal as when I was sharing the Google Slides tab. I can unpin this and I cannot find a way to get rid of it. It looks like that's as small as I can get it, but it, otherwise it works the same. I can now click over here to advance my PowerPoint slides if I want to and see my class over here on the left. So that's it. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful if you are teaching or learning online with Google Meet. If you have a question or suggestion for another tutorial or you would like to check out my other videos about Google Meet or Zoom, please check out the description below this video or leave a comment. Thank you.